Hello and welcome to the video tutorial number 14 of how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver and PHP. Well, we're already in the front end part, in the part for shop that our customers will see when entering the page. We have the index page, which is the one we could already see. Suppose you have already created it according to your preferences. Next thing we will do is, as you know, in all the online shops there is a user and a password or email and password to have access and check all the items we have purchased, even to use the shop. Okay, what we're going to do now is all the process of registering a user. This is very, very useful and Dreamweaver will help us a big deal. We'll go step by step as usual, trying to explain it all. And any doubt you may have, you can write it in the comments or visit my website, which is blogayzweb.com. There you have all the info. Right, the first thing we will do is creating a new page where the user will register. So we will do exactly as when doing the administration. We will take index and we will copy paste it. We do it and now we rename it to user register. We open it and you can see it's an exact copy of the template. The gray color cannot code cannot be changed as it's part of the template itself. Now we want to modify something in here, these instructions for example, and we can't do anything with it, with it still. As you can see we get a forbidden sign. Why? Because in the main template, in the base template, we haven't created an edit region. Let's do something, we will close it and now we will open our template. It's main, here we have the template, and we will create here here you see insert template objects, create an editable region according to the Dreamweaver, let's see, I can call this title okay, so here it is, do you see how it creates us some code on the left side? here I will include an editable area that will only be the H1 that's the header, you will see this, it's important later on for the positioning stuff though many of you already know this, I will delete all this by now and to do all the contents of the have the title of the page but I haven't got the content so I will create another editable area we go to edit template objects edit region and I will call these contents for example well I call it edit region 4 but never mind we leave this gap here we write contents and we save when we save this says as follows you've placed the editable area title inside the block label header 1 users of this template won't be able to create further blocks in this area and so on this is just because it placed an editable area inside a header as you can see here I used to do it this way but you can do it as you please for example in some pages you don't want an H1 you, or you want an H2 you can change it I accept, update as you can see I will update both index and user register rights I update check files to updated files to the more files we have the more files it will check and uh, update of course well we close this and as well we open use register again and now as you can see it allows me to edit I'm going to write user register here and down here system register form well shop instead of system I save and let's see how it looks like by now let's go step by step so let's reduce this a little for us to see it properly I go to localhost let's see if I've got it around here no it was called shoes right this is the main page you remember we have extracted the categories in the left side menu and now we're going to go by hand to this other page called user register user register PHP and you see we get the user register page as we are in a template it gives me the left menu stuff in any moment I can have access to this I don't have to make a new page from the scratch but I'm taking a developed one as a basis next thing we will do is the register form from our shop to do so we get back to Dreamweaver here we insert a column click in insert data objects insert record we have done this many times and we'll do it even more we click on the assistant the connection is the usual one choose connection the table I will insert will be table user and after inserting we will go to a greeting page 
so to call it that will be called register ok php for example we haven't got that page yet but we will make it in a blink what data am i asking my user i have a look and i've got all the data from the table user id name email and interactive which is to know if the user is active or not but we lack a field for the password so by now we won't do this let's console i minimize go to navicat database mate here we are let's go to localhost all of you know how to do this by now let's add a field so we go to choose in table user i click on design table and we will enter a new field that will be called mm, password as it will be a string of characters i will start the name with str then password this will be a bar chart with a length of up to 50 characters we save and I think we don't need more fields right now username, name, email, of course you can add as many fields as you want birthday, address, means of payment but let's make it easy which is the idea of this tutorial and later we will add more things by now we save this I go to back to Dreamweaver and again insert data objects, insert record and assistant I go to table user and here you can see the password field we type again register ok php which was the target page the id user isn't something the user is going to type so we can delete it id user will be a number for internal use which as i told you is autonumeric and we will use it to distinguish one user from another we leave the name the email and with the interactive we will do as follows initially i will consider that anyone entering this page is valid sorry to say um, the value of interactive is 0 or 1 so when this user tries to enter the page with user and password he won't be able because in a way we have forbidden his access but we will leave this value open as a default how can we do this? we won't create a field asking the user if he wants to be active in the shop because if he has registered obviously he wants to be active so we will create a hidden field we select here a hidden field and what value will this field have? it will have value 1 meaning in the database that this user is active we will leave the password field like this it is a text field as well and we accept as you see it creates the form immediately let's fix the form so that it looks better name email and here it will say password and here instead of insert record i will type here register so when I register automatically it creates a code here in the left side which is as follows this is the form code up here I have the connection to the database as always and down here an insert insert into table user these values and the next thing it will do will be register ok if everything has gone fine it will take us there what else did I want to comment you on? oh yes the field the hidden field you can see here, I've created the interactive you see it appears here with an edge of hidden and here the value is 1, it's simply that during we were translating what we have given the system into code that way it makes our task much easier ok, basically we have the register stuff done, I'm going to save, so always we save then update, and now we have a look here, you see the form we've got I'm interested in the fact that all these fields are compulsory so I will use the sprite to do it then in name the label sprite I tick the compulsory square you see it is the default value the email will also be compulsory and in addition I will ask it to be an email address Dreamweaver already gives me the chance I cannot choose what I feel like if it is an email it will say wrong format and in password it will make it uh, compulsory field too because with it they won't be able to distinguish one user from another right we say fine I will try to register without doing anything yet you see it automatically loads from Ajax and it says you need a value there by now you see we can fill in some field if you want it says these two are fine but the email isn't valid and it's very clever because the dot com dot net or whatever is missing 
Okay, so now let's register a real user. Let's see. I will type Jorge in the name. I will enter my email address in the second field and in the password I will type three times X. As you can see here, I forgot something else. I like doing these things like this because we realize of many things. The password is a field that should appear as hidden. That is with asterisk when you are typing in. Dreamweaver also helps us to do that. If we come here and we select the password field, I say this is a password field. Save again, update, and when I enter something in this field, you can see me, we get the, the usual dots. So once again, name Jorge, email jorvidu at gmail.com and password triple X, for example. Register and automatically it will give me an error. Why? Because it's taking me to the page register OK that hasn't been created yet. So let's create it. I select index, could be paste. I do this fast because we've done it a million times. Register OK. Now I will do the following. You have registered successfully. And um, Thank you so much. Now you can log in with your email and password. Okay, now we save and update. And let's have a look. I will make up a new user for you to see. Password, whatever, and you see, it already takes us to the register OK page. How do we check in the database that we are doing this properly? Very easy. We go to Navicat again, localhost, we go to our database issues, we open the ID user and you can see how the register users appear here, you see? Jorge, Pepe Luis, it's a previous user I created and here we have the passwords. Later we will make that passwords are even hidden in the database as legally passwords cannot be so easily accessible since any system administrator could use those passwords and usually people use the same passwords for all their accounts. Uh, we could access anywhere this person was registered. Right, we have this. Let's do something else, one further detail and we will continue in the next chapter not to make this video too long because I understand this is getting a little thick by now and I just want to explain myself so that you don't get lost. In the user register in some way I have to check that the email doesn't already exist in my database. In some way I have to tell Dreamweaver to register me that person but first check if that email already appears in the database I cannot have two users with the same email. And nowadays an email is like an ID, there aren't two exactly the same, it's impossible. We could also create a new field for password in which it asks us to confirm our password and all that or confirm your email, but well, I will leave that for later because it involves JavaScript and I don't want to get into that now. Later on if you ask me about it because you need it, I can explain it at, with no problem at all. But what we're going to do now is to check that the email isn't included in our database yet and should it exist it will give us an error. So to do it first we will create the error page. So I copy the register OK page or, or index is the same. Copy paste and modify the name to register repeated email. I enter it and change the text to email already in use. And down here, the text you please, for example, uh, please check if you are already registered or recover your password. Mm -hmm. We save this here by now, and now we move on to the register user, and we do that as follows. In behavior, there is an option called user authentication. Check new username. We go there, and in username field, in this case, we choose the email. If it already exists, go to, and then I will select the page we just created. Register repeated email. We accept, and this internally has carried out its operations and has created all this code that basically is selecting us the email from the table user, where the email 
is the same as I just introduced. In case the email is the same, it skips to this page. If it isn't repeated, the procedure goes on and it creates an insert. This may sound strange to you or maybe not, because all these things I'm explaining are pretty basic. Anyway, let's check if it works. I save and now let's look for the register again. I'm going to register as myself again, Jorge, and my email so that um, password, whatever, register, and you see, automatically it tells me, hey, your email already exists in the database. This is the page we have just created here. Here in Recover Your Password, the logical thing would be including a link to the password recovery page we will make later on, and also a link to the previous page to make a new attempt. So, with this, we have made a step forward, one more detail, and in the next chapter, number 15, we will go in depth with the registered topic and we will see how to access the system. Okay, so not to make this much longer, I think with this you have a good deal to work with. Um, I wait for your comments, whether you like this or not, if you are handling it or not, if you want me to go in depth with some specific aspects. So please let me know. Regards.